fight through during the game too. How do you uh, kind of process the good you guys did versus you know some of the things that put you guys into, into a little bit of a hole to begin with? Uh, I think we did a lot of things that was that were good today. It's just the turnovers and the offensive rebounds we gave up that just overshadows everything that we do good because every little mistake with us is going to cost us a lot more than other teams. It's not like we're just coming in making 15, 23s a night. We just got unbelievable scores. So coach shows really like just emphasizes just taking care of the ball, not giving them extra possessions. I think we won the possession game. I mean, we lost the possession game by 15, and that's and to lose by two and have them get 15 more shots than you is is really bad. If you let them get 10 more shots, do we win? You know, so just the the things that we're doing good is we're doing them and we know we're doing them, but it's just uh, it's just how long we're doing them for, like how long a duration we're gonna let let those good things go, and then the bad things just overshadow. You got on a roll. Last 10 minutes of the game, he scored 16 points in the last eight and change. Um, I mean, it was pretty clear that you were feeling it at that point. What kind of described the the role that you were on, and you know, the you know, getting your team back into a position to win? Um, it's, it comes down to just just my teammates knowing what matchups to give me. Um, Cam Crawford was being guarded by a big man, uh, so he would just come up and set a screen, get the switch for me, and. Let me see what I can do, see what options we have. And it was, they weren't really helping off Micah, helping off Hobbs, helping off Crawford. So it was really just me in the room. For both of you guys, I mean, this team all season has been fighting uphill, it seems like today. You don't have Cooper. Um, you know, there were, as you mentioned, Cam, there were some things you guys had to fight through that, you know, you're self inflicted during the game. You guys keep fighting, but, you know, how hard is it to, to, to keep fighting when? It seems like uh, the obstacles are in your way almost constantly. Um, I don't think it's actually, you know, that hard, you know, to keep fighting because every game, no matter who we got, you know, whatever, we're gonna come out and compete because that's, you know, that's a given. But I think for us, it's just the matter of just putting things together, you know. For the, for us to win, I think, you know, like Cam Heron said, it's got to be the turnovers and you know, limiting, you know, people's possession that they get more than us. It's just. The small details that matter for us to win, I think those are all the things that is going to get us over the hump, which we're more than capable of doing. But I think just, it's just those things that just got to get us over the hump. Valpo was much, Kalex, you didn't play against him last year, and I don't count it. Obviously, you didn't either, Cam, but big team. I mean, they, they have some size uh, all through their lineup. Uh, you guys defended it decent, considering, but how much of a challenge was it to defend that size when they got, you know, some of the, they have bigger guards and they're, they're driving, uh, what, what kind of challenge was that in this game? Uh, I think it just creates the same challenge it does. Um, just for our bigs to be there down on the paint, just going one-on-one -on -one with them, usually we would send a double and Calix being, those guys are like 6'9", six, 6'10", six, and he's 6'6", six, six, walling them up and everything. So you just got to give him a lot of credit for what he's trying to do out there. And usually we would come with a double, but they got shooters around them, so it's hard to rotate with with a couple of shooters around them, and really, just they, we just got to work on just keeping our hands up and just keeping our feet moving and walling them up and making them finish over us. Uh, I think we work on it a lot in practice, but I think we can get better at it. And just to piggyback on that, like I think uh, what really like put us in a, uh, you know a tough predicament was you know Jabo. You know, his guard, and he got some tough calls, so, you know, he had to sit out. And then, you know, we're bringing in a much smaller guard on uh, Cam Crawford. And, you know, Hobbs is, you know, he's fighting. But, you know, once you have those two guys that can kind of, you know, match up with a bigger guys rather than Cam Crawford, puts us in a bad position. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we got to do what we got to do and be able to hold our own against those guys. Yeah, you mentioned it, Kalex. I mean, it felt like you guys were almost fighting your own rotation there for a while, trying to figure out to get on the floor with the foul trouble. How much do you sense that as players, you know, just trying to, you know, with, with Jabo and, and Hobbs getting into foul trouble, you know, it's, it, it does, it, it, it affects things. I mean, it, you know, you, you don't know who's coming out of the floor at, at one time. But how difficult is it to fight through that sometimes? Well, I mean, it could be hard sometimes, but I know, like, you know, we get guys in foul trouble, you know, it's got to be the next man up, you know. We got guys out all the time, you know, whether it's due to injuries, self-inflicted things, whatever, you got to be next man up. So Crawford came in, you know, 
depending on the match or who we're guarding or whatever, we'll try to like, you know, help him down there, dig a little bit, do the best we can. But at the end of the day, it's got to be next man up. You know, you got to be able to hold your own. So that's that's what it is at the end of the day. And uh, piggyback off that, just um, we've been through a lot this season. And the past games, we we went to Northern Iowa with seven people. And we played Drake with without three start without three starters. And like Kayla said, we just been focused on having the next man up. And and I think in those times, like Coop being out, you know, it, it, it's sad to not have him, but it's also an opportunity for another guy to step up and not replace Coop, but just help out the team and what you can do. Um, we're not going to have another Cooper niece come on the court and do the same things he does, but I feel like other guys can come in and be an, an impact to the game just as, just as much as he can. And Cam Crawford is a freshman, a true freshman, so when he comes in, we know. Just got to just do a little extra talking to him. He's going to play hard regardless. He's going to try and box out, going to try and guard. And then when he's open, we, we love him shooting those open threes. So I like when he comes in. Guys, I just had one quick question. Um, was on that last play, was that the play you guys wanted to run, or did their defense kind of prevent you from running what you wanted? Um, it wasn't. We got we got to where we wanted to get. Um, once they once I got the ball in and they double teamed me, it kind of Coming messed a couple down. things up and a couple people got out of sort. But I, I, I like to think at least we got a shot up at the rim. I mean, it wasn't what we what we drew up completely X and nose, but we knew it, were, it wasn't going to happen just as how we drew it up. So, and you got to Drew came in, he got a steal, he got a foul, made two really big free throws, and if that shot goes in, does you know does is he, you know, everybody's feeling the opposite way. So you just got to, we got a shot up at the end of the day.